Um, so we're just going to unplug all of the electrodes from the box. And if you want to peel off your facial electrodes, I don't like doing this part because it reminds me of ripping off a Band-Aid. And I can hang up those. There's a tab that you move. And then I just move yeah. the box back. And then I'm going to turn it off. And then there's this away. If you want to just do the ones on your face. Oh, yeah. Real quick. With a couple more. Great. And then if you want to unstrap your electro cap, then you can just slide it right off. Great. And then you have two mastoids. So we just stick it in the towel and then into okay. This one's for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Peel off all the tabs. And in this folder, we just have a little briefing sheet that you can take with you and read. Um, so basically, when you read the sentences that don't make sense, we're looking at this um, response that occurs around 400 milliseconds. So it just gives you some more information. And then um, next week, there will be a presentation in your intro lab with some analyzed data and some more information about EEGs. Cool. So unless you have any other questions, you're good to go. All right. Thank you. There's a lot of children. Yeah. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so then you just put it in the door. Is there a gel on my face? Uh, probably a little bit. Then I'm going to follow you. Okay. And then okay. so we unplug the um, orange cable from the sensor box. And Michelle's going to hang that up on the wall, and then I just make sure that the battery's off, and I usually unplug the um, connection there. And then we take our syringes, a towel that we wrap with the cap and the electrodes in, and a bowl to the prep room. Um, so we grab the key that lives in this box back here on our red lanyard, so we just grab the key and we'll walk down the hallway. the bowl and fill it with some water for the electrodes to fill. So then the electrodes just get, um, sit in the water and kind of squish them around. And the cap, uh, you run it under water. And then I use a syringe and go into each port that we filled with gel um, and make sure that all of the gel is dislodged. So for a regular session cleaning, you just use pure tap water, you mm -hmm. don't put salt in it. Yeah. 
if you're going to do an electro soak, you just put about a tablespoon of salt, which we have on the table in the other room, um, and then let it soak for the same amount of time, about five to ten minutes. And then afterwards, you air dry everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if we have a back-to-back -back sessions or two in one day, um, there's a fan that we set the cap on and turn the fan on so that it's dry by the time um, the next session starts in case we need to use the same cap. But and about how much time do you need to schedule between sessions in order to make sure that the person's not putting on a wet cap? I'd say about an hour, maybe. Okay. take the towel in the prep room is in part because the electrodes are not supposed to touch any metal. Um, as you can see, there's lots of metal in this room, so that just ensures that we're not damaging the electrodes. Put it on again. Just. Yep. So we put the wet cap on the fan just so it can dry out, and then put the electrodes we used back on um, the rack. We normally separate the electro cap electrodes from the facial electrodes. That'll make it easier to put them on the next yeah. time. And then we just set the syringes out on the table to dry and then um, toss our towel in the laundry. Do you need help separating? No, I got them. I dropped one. And then we also make sure that this monitor is turned off. And then let's go back in the other room for the final cleanup there. Um, so when the participant is done, we hit the pause save button down here to make sure that everything saves. And when we turn the box off, we just get this message. So we hit continue and then we can close the program. Um, and then we'll just turn off the computer. Same with Tim, just close out the program and then hit turn off. And then we're good to go. And while I have this on, I want to point to the two USB connectors okay. with the E Prime computer, the green USB um, special uh, device allows editing of an E Prime program. You can run the E-Prime program without the device, but if you need to change it or edit it or create a new one, you need that in the computer in which the editing is going on. And a similar device exists for Stan, a USB device, that doesn't need to be in Stan for collecting the data, but must be there when we analyze the data or the software won't run.